What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and once again I got a lot of requests from you guys on my Instagram DM. This time you've been requesting that look that Justin has on his Instagram a lot. He's a German YouTuber, fashion YouTuber, and he also has a clothing brand. Me, myself, I really like his brand. I like the stuff that he's doing on YouTube. And to be fair, the pictures that he posts on his Instagram are taken by a photographer named Jason Noir. He's also a German photographer, and he has that really unique style that you guys like a lot as well. And now before we get started, let me tell you that I'm absolutely not trying to copy any of his looks or anything. It's just you requested it a lot. He's a professional photographer. He takes pictures with professional cameras, um, with flashes, with filters, with everything. This is just an inspiration and we want to get as close as possible as we can to his look using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. Now I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website, the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with many other over 80 presets for you to just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. There's a lot of Travis Scott presets, UFO 361 presets, Playboy Cardi presets, Drake presets, a Gunner Stahl preset, and many, many more. So make sure to check that out. And once you have the all presets pack, I'm updating that pack. I'm uploading new presets on a weekly basis. So once you have the pack, you'll be fed with free presets every week. It's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you won't miss out on any of my future tutorials because if there's anything that you need from me, any requests that you have, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. There's, I'm always open for conversation and I'm trying to reply as fast as I can. Or of course, you could always just comment under this video as well. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do, of course, is take your picture. Make sure, even though it's daylight, make sure to take the picture with the flash on. Now, in this particular picture, Justin has white clothes, so I tried to go out, take some pictures with white clothes as well, and um, just to get that flash reflection on the clothes and make everything a little more dreamy and softer. So once you have taken the picture, I want you to open it in that free Lightroom app right here and then in the lights tab we go to the curve on the upper right and what you want to do here is just copy this curve exactly as it is right here so we want to pull down the highlights a lot on the upper right and then also we want to raise the shadows a little bit on the bottom left and then in between just create that smooth curve smoothening out the lights a little bit and once you have this curve you should go from something like this as it was before to this right here just a little flatter a little darker and then we are done here now we want to boost up the exposure to plus 0 0.50 and then we want to boost up the contrast as well to plus 19 right here we want to pull down the highlights to negative 16 and we want to boost up the shadows all the way to plus 42 right there and then we want to boost up the whites as well to plus 18 and pull down the blacks to negative 64 right here. Now we go over to the colors tab. What you want to do here is just boost up the temperature to plus 14 to get that warm look. And then we want to pull down the saturation to negative 20. 22 is good. Then we scroll up, hit the color mix on the upper right, and go to the orange tone, that second orange circle right there. And we just want to pull down the saturation a little bit to around negative 16 is perfect. Now we are done here, and we go over to the effects tab. What you want to do here is pull down the clarity to negative 25 right there. And now we see that this dreamy soft look comes into the picture. And now we want to boost that dehaze to around plus 17 just to get that crisp back in. And then we scroll down to where it says grain and we want to add some grain to give it a little vintage effect. Around 35 is good. And then we want to boost the size to around 33 and the roughness to 57 right here. Now we scroll up, hit split toning. This is where we're gonna do the final color change. And now for the highlights, we want to pull over to a hue of around 50, around 55 is good, and a saturation of 13 right here. And for the shadows, we want to pull over to that 
almost green area to a hue of around 220 and the saturation really low saturation i think in this case four is perfect so it's 123 and four and for the balance we're going to push that towards the highlights a little bit to plus 26 right here then we're done here we go over to the details and now just to soften out the picture a little bit we want to do some noise reduction to about 37 right there and color noise reduction to around 30 39 is perfect and then we're done here and that's it guys here's a little before and after and i think we came super close to that real justin jason moore look I like the result a lot. I hope you're also satisfied with this result. And once again, I wanna stress that we're not trying to copy his exact look because Jason Noir is a professional photographer taking pictures with high quality cameras, high quality expensive gear software. And um, we're just trying to get as close as we can using our smartphone and that free Lightroom app. And once again, I've created a preset on exactly this Justin Jason Noir inspired look. It's on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in that all presets pack, bringing you over 80 presets to just upgrade all of your pictures in that free Lightroom app. There's a lot of Travis Scott presets, UFO 361 presets, Drake presets, Playboy Cardi presets, a Gunner Stall presets, and many, many more. So make sure to check that out because once you have the all presets pack, your individual link will be automatically updated once I have a new preset. So once you have the pack, you will get all the new presets from now on for free. So it's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything you need, any new requests that you have like this one right here, just feel free to DM me on Instagram. At Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation. Or of course, you could always just comment under this video and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Now, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay creative. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.